eight years in the making. Finally about to leave to go to my first NASCAR race. Howdy folks, it's Die Castle Play here again. Holy cow folks, it is time. I'm so freaking excited, man. I am so freaking excited to be going to Texas Motor Speedway. Holy cow, it's going to be a long drive, six hours. That's, that's going there and then six hours back. That's going to uh, be a very long trip, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yo, what is up everyone? Uh, it is currently like four, like 50 in the morning right now. It is literally like pitch dark out here. That's why I'm having to use a spare light, but uh, you know, I kinda wanna talk about some things heading to Texas Motor Speedway I'm looking forward to, you know. This is my first NASCAR race. You know, I've never been able to go to a NASCAR race. I've wanted to go for eight years now, man. I've, ever since I've been watching NASCAR religiously, you know, it's something that I have always wanted to do and just never had, you know, the financial capabilities and just, it's a blessing to be able to go and I'm just extremely grateful to go. So some things I want to accomplish at the track, I want to be able to go and, you know, you know, walk around, take a bunch of photos and stuff, you know, really soak in the experience, but I'm also looking for some die cast, man. I am looking for some die cast. I know, I know the vendors, they got some good stuff up there, so I'm hoping we'll be able to find some cool stuff, uh, maybe some vintage die casts, maybe some new ones. One thing I will be doing is no matter who wins this race, I'm getting the 124. So it could be Keselowski who's racing that amazing freaking worth paint scheme. Literally my favorite paint scheme all 2019. He's racing it at Texas. I had no freaking clues. I'm so freaking excited. We're about to leave. It's gonna be a long journey, but man, I have been waiting all year long for this day. I cannot wait. I am so freaking excited. So here's kind of the load I'll be working with. So I got this big old bag here. It's got all my clothes in it. It's got my favorite t-shirt, my Nirvana t-shirt right there. You know, I have to bring that, you know, got the Halo Reach beanie on joint, got you know, my shaver, toothbrush, all that good stuff in here. I decided I'm going to bring this die cast for good luck that I'll be able to find some other cool die casts because this is my favorite paint scheme. I, I, I love this paint scheme. This is the best 2019 paint scheme. So freaking cool he's racing this. Like, I cannot believe he's actually going to be racing this. It's not going to have any playoff banners or anything on it. Like, it's literally freaking perfect. Then we got, you know, the, the Oakleys on deck right here be showing them off probably in a video uh then i got my stats in cologne you know you're not a true tech so i went out some stats and i'll tell you that uh, i got my recording equipment as well you know my lights uh, spare battery battery charger got another one in the bag as well yeah i do uh, right here so i got two batteries on deck got the uh the phone charger gotta have that so yeah we're bringing a little bit of recording equipment a lot of clothes making sure we're prepared but you know, it, it, there's, I'm going to be like a fish out of water in some aspects because I have no clue what I'm walking into, and that's what's going to make this trip so much freaking fun. I mean, also, I can't forget, you know, my gigantic Realtree jacket just in case it gets a little cold, so I'll have this uh, ready to go big Realtree jacket just in case it's a little bit chilly up there in Fort Worth because, I mean, it's totally not like it's the first day of November.
Moon Star Circle. Oh my god. Holy cow, Texas Motor Speedway. Wow, man. Wow. That's the fall Texas race from 2005. Wow, that was the inaugural fall race. Inaugural race winning pace car, Jeff Burton. Texas Motor Speedway. Wow. This is so awesome. This is so cool. We're underneath 1 and 2 right now. We'll be sitting up that way. Infield at Texas Motor Speedway. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Texas Motor Speedway. Oh my lord. This is freaking amazing, man. Wow. This place is giant.
two, Texas Motor Speedway qualifying for Xfinity going on right now. Then we're going to be having the Cup qualifying a little bit later. Then the Xfinity race. Super excited, man.
That was freaking awesome. Was freaking awesome. Wow. That was fun. Holy cow. Chris Rebell wins. Wow. Texas Motor Speedway Triple A Texas 500. Let's go. Whew. I'm excited, y'all. Who's gonna win? I'm taking Kyle Busch. Even though I won't chase out to win.
That was a freaking awesome race. Wow. That was freaking awesome. First cup race in the books. Kevin Harvick. I'm gonna miss you, Texas Motor Speedway. Until next time. Holy cow, folks. Texas Motor Speedway was a ton of fun. Uh, I got to stay the whole weekend up there, and I got to see both Xfinity and Cup Race, and holy cow, man, it was the experience of my life. If you are someone who has never attended an NASCAR race, you've never been to one, or you always wanted to, just you couldn't do it, you don't have time out of your day, you just simply don't have the funds, hard work pays off, folks. Absolutely, I highly recommend going. You know, whether you're a casual NASCAR fan or you're a diehard fan of the sport like myself, you got to check it out. The experience I had at Texas Motor Speedway, it was I, it was like on anything. You know, I've seen baseball games. I've watched so many different sports on TV. I, I cannot describe how awesome it is to walk up the stands at Texas Motor Speedway and to hear an Xfinity car or a cup car just soaring right by you. It is so freaking loud. I loved it. I mean, I loved it, man. You could feel the rumble. It's so freaking cool. And no matter where you sit, you could still see a really sharp and good race, man. Um, for the Xfinity race, we actually sat down on the first row, kind of on the front straightaway, and you got so close to the restarts, oh my goodness, man, it was insane. And for the cup race, we actually sat uh, closer to turn one, and you got to see the cars come through the trioval, and you got to see them go straight into turn one, which is very wide, so they're diving on in there, man. It's just, it is unbelievable how much fun a NASCAR race can be. I mean, it was a six-hour drive going there, and in six hours back, I mean, it was exhausting. It was exhausting. I mean... We left at what, like 5.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, had to get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning just to get ready, you know, had to get a shower, get everything loaded into the car. It was just, oh my lord, it was so much fun though. My first, you know, impressions when I got to the track is just, wow. Um, you do not think these, these race tracks are that big on TV. I can assure you, Texas Motor Speedway is gigantic. Like, holy freaking cow, man. I mean, it felt like a racing stadium, you know? It doesn't feel like a, a little racetrack. It felt like a legit stadium. There's just so much built around it. It reminds me kind of how, like, an open ballpark is in baseball, you know? Like, maybe the Atlanta Braves or the Texas Rangers, whichever, how, you know, half of the place has stands around it, and then you got your playing field. That's how Texas Motor Speedway reminded me of compared to other sports it, it really feels like a racing stadium kind of like how bristol motor speedway is how it's a legit stadium built upon the track you know it's not really something really open maybe like a michigan or a chicago land no it legit felt like a stadium and that was really cool now there's always pros and cons to everything and i do say that texas motor speedway does have some things they can improve on i think the number one thing most people probably would would complain about is the lack of wi-fi there you know as someone who is very involved with social media and very active on youtube and instagram you know having wi-fi is a great way to connect with people before the race i'm not talking during the race i'm talking when you're at the merchandise trailers when you're at you know the meet and greets when you're in the infield whatnot if you want to take a selfie for with a driver or something you want to make sure you have signal to be able to upload that immediately because you know that's just you know something really cool to do but i, I the wi-fi signal was uh non-existent if you have a phone that's you know brand new and stuff i'm sure you didn't have a problem connecting but man i did not have any signal so i was unable to you know take a photo at the track before the race and then post that i had to wait till we get back to the hotel and you know do all that but that's one thing i think they could improve on another thing is the ability to charge your phones you know as someone like me who had to go six hours away from where i live to go to texas motor speedway you know 
it is vital you have a phone that is charged because if anything happens you need to have some way to get to safety or whatnot and to not have a ability to charge your phone at the racetrack was a big bummer luckily we were able to bring you know power banks into the speedway which is really good you know you bring a little charging power bank you plug it in you put it in your pocket and then you're able to record video and such so that was something that i think a lot of people um would probably complain about but to be honest with you i loved it man i really did it was a fantastic experience the bathrooms though they were a little bit dated i will admit i mean they were about as bare bones as a construction porter potty to be honest but that's okay because you want to know why because that is outside of the racing product you're there to watch a race stock car action you're not there to go uh, walk into the speedway club and chit chat about baseball during the race no you're there to watch a nascar race and the on-track product was absolutely amazing you know as i was watching the cup race and xfinity race from the stands one thing that that i noticed is I was able to watch it from a visual perspective, you know, at the track, but I was also able to watch it mentally as a TV perspective. Now, I feel like from a TV perspective, it was not that good of a race, but for at the track, it was fantastic because, sure, you know, there might not have been a whole lot of passes for the lead, but wow, did, did stage one in the cup race, I mean, there was so many freaking wrecks, right? I mean, you had cats like uh keselowski and then you had cats like stenhouse hamlin elliot i mean they were they were getting into it and then you had of course the penalty with harvick and seeing him fight through the field i mean johnson was even fast you know uh the on track product was in my opinion amazing you know I've, I've gotten a lot of hate for saying that the texas race was actually really good and you know that's just part of anything you're gonna have the negative and you're gonna have the positive but guess what man I, I loved it you know i had an amazing time you know i waited eight years to go to a nascar race and you know the reason why is because we just simply didn't have the funds to so to be able to live out one of my personal dreams is really freaking amazing and you know I, I loved it man i absolutely recommend going to texas motor speedway sure you know you have the playoff nine cents sure you have the one and two that in my opinion needs to go back to the original one and two uh, but yeah, they, they, they did mess up a little bit with the, with the uh, compound, the traction compound they put down on the track. Uh, it caused issues for uh, Hamlin and appears to be for Chase Elliott too. But to be honest with you, it created cautions and that's what you want. You want restarts, you want action, that's what you really want. But uh, Kevin Harvick won the race and I am going to be getting his 124 scale die cast. Uh, in fact, I actually pre-ordered it back at the hotel before I even left, so uh, I, I got that die cast uh, already pre-ordered, but I got something a little special I'm going to be doing. So, Christopher Bell won the Xfinity race, and Kevin Harvick obviously won the Cup race. I'm going to be making a custom 164 race to win die cast for both of them. I already got the Christopher Bell die cast ordered. I'm going to edit it and make it a playoff winning one. And then for Kevin Harvick, whenever his uh, Ducks Unlimited Bush Beer car is released, I'll be making a raced win playoff version of that. Uh, I know I got a lot of custom projects right now, but that's something I really wanted to do. So every race I attend, make a raced win 164 scale die cast of. And that's, that's my plan uh, moving forward. But I gotta say, the best moment of the entire trip is something that I never even expected. So... When I was walking up the stands at Texas Motor Speedway, I was walking up to our area, you know, we're in turns one, right? I turned, out, you know, you walk up the stairs, you turn left, right? I turned, and it was this dude, right? This young fella. And he says, hey, it's Diecast Buffet. I watch all your videos. I'm like, what? How does anyone know it's me, you know? And I turned to look at him, I'm like, I'm like shocked, right? I'm like, how out of like these 40,000 people there, that one of them gonna actually know about my Instagram or my YouTube or whatnot. And he's like, hey dude, can I get a photo with you? I'm like, absolutely, you know? It was the coolest experience ever. Like, it made my entire year, you know? Going to a NASCAR race that I've waited eight years to go to, this one moment meant more to me because it it, it shocked me. It, it, was, it was insane, right? It was insane. Uh, I could not believe it. So I, I took the photo with him and I mean, it's so freaking cool to know that someone asked me that, you know? It's just like, out of the, the hundreds of hours I dedicate to my YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that, 
to have someone notice me. It's just, it, it, it means the world to me. And I, I, I gotta say, I was pretty emotional after that. I mean, you know, you go to a NASCAR race, you're all hyped up for the stock car action, and just like, bam, it hits you, and you're like, wow, did that just happen? You know, it's just like, it's a feeling that you can't describe because it's like you have someone who's like a fan of what you do and notices you and it's like it really hits you it's like what you're doing is getting popular and it's like wow you know i probably said it a hundred times my dream of being a youtuber has it's been in my head for since i was 12 years old and that's how long it's been since i wanted to go to a nascar race so it's just like everything is coming full circle and it's it's an absolute blessing and that's gonna be it for this video so i know it's a super long video it's like 30 minutes but i wanted to document everything that happened at texas motor speedway this is something i've been planning for months now and i'm just so so glad that everything went good i will say though saturday night at the xfinity race it was freezing cold 50 degrees with just so much wind it felt like 30 degrees at the xfinity race i mean i had i had gloves on i had my hoodie i had a beanie i had my hat i had an undershirt oh my god it was so freaking cold it was so freaking cold and i will say though and i have no shame in saying this i had to use earplugs because my god it was so loud and i loved it but i did have to use earplugs no shame no shame. I wasn't about to go pay the $50 to get some racing electronics. Uh, maybe one day. But yeah, it was definitely, uh, there was so much to, to, to partake in. There was so much going on, you know. It's definitely something that you have to go back multiple times to kind of experience everything in a NASCAR race. Because when you're a first time goer to the racetrack, you know, you don't know all the little, the little tricks and whatnot. You know, like one of the probably the biggest shocks was... I had no clue you could bring your own drinks and your own snacks into the track because I'm used to when you go to like a baseball game, they search you down, they make sure you don't have anything on you, and then you got to buy everything inside just like at a movie theater, right? Um, you can, sometimes you can sneak in a bottle of water at a movie theater, but they're going to want you to buy the crap. So when you're allowed to bring literally whatever you want pretty much to the racetrack, it's freaking amazing because you're not having to pay $10 for a bottle of water, you know? So... That's something that NASCAR has that I'd probably say no other sport that I know of has is the, uh, the the freedom to do whatever you really want. You know, you could bring a freaking cooler in there. You could load it down whatever you want, you know? It's crazy. And that's something that I love because I don't want to pay 5 to $10 for, you know, a bag of chips or something, right? You just want to go and watch a stock car race. You know, you can go load up on your goodies then go to the racetrack and save hundreds i mean hundreds on concessions so it, it, it i love that great job texas motor speedway on that one and that's gonna be it for this video thank you all so much for watching make sure to give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new videos with all that being said hope you're having a great one and diecast buffet signing off